Hey guys, so I don't think I'm gonna win any popularity contest with this video, so I might not get as much thumbs up, and that's okay. But I think there's something important that we need to talk about. We have three different types of Christians in the world, um, at least the ones that I run into. And we've got those that run, their, they take their Christianity banner and they run towards a political gain. Right? They, they take it and they, they carry it off towards the Republican, you know, like I'm, you know, pro-life, I'm this, I'm that, you know, and they run with it. And then we've got others that run in the opposite. I'm socialist, I'm this, I'm that. So they have got those two. And then we've got some that don't think that any political thing, we should just avoid all politics. And so we've got all three streams of Christianity that happen, especially here in the United States. And then all of a sudden I'm like, Everyone gets confused on what Christianity is. You can't be a real Christian. You don't, you, you don't believe in welfare. You don't believe in this. And you, you can't be a real Christian. You, you know, like believe in gay marriage or, you know, like support this. And the other ones, you can't be a real Christian. You're too political. You're trying to use the, your religious beliefs as political gain. And so we've got these streams, and I have to look at Jesus. I think any time that we come across something like this, that we come across something where we see differences in Christianity, we, if you want to know the truth— you have to go back to Jesus. And Jesus didn't shy away from the political climate of the day, right? You know, like everybody hated Samaritans and Jesus dealt with Samaritans. You know, like people, you know, like we see a woman in adultery. We see, you know, all kinds of different things that, you know, like kind of showed the climate of the day whenever you look at Jesus. And he didn't shy away from anything. However, he didn't also, he didn't really like give the answer they were looking for. Right? He didn't just kind of follow along, I'm Republican Jesus, and I have you know the, the Republican answer. He didn't go along, I'm Socialist Jesus, and I go along with the Socialist answer. He actually just kind of came back to this idea of, hey, there's hard lines, and no matter what, we have to love. There's hard lines of things that has to happen and things that, you know, like, hey, if you, if you want to follow me, you got to pick up your cross. That's a hard line. There were times whenever Jesus gave a hard message and half of those that were following went away. And he even looks at the disciples and he says, are you going to leave too? Right? So he wasn't afraid of the hard message. He wasn't afraid of taking a stand. But he knew that in the end, it wasn't about, hey, are you a Sadducee? Are you a Pharisee? Are you a right winger? Are you a left winger? He was looking at it and saying, look, what, what can I use this for in order to push forward the kingdom, to push forward the message that God is love, he's here to redeem, and we have good news. And that good news can be hard news at the same time. So that being said, I just I just want to encourage us, sometimes we let our political beliefs shade how the way that we see our religious beliefs instead of the other way around. I'm not anti-politics. I'm not anti, you know, like those that are, I'm not anti-anti-politics, but what I can tell you is this, Jesus is the one that should be at the center of everything. I have friends that are Democrats. I have friends that are Republicans. I have friends with differing views. I have friends that just are anarchists, to be honest with you. And the th reason that we can all come together is because I can see them from my perspective, and that is that God loves them and that they're not irrational, right? They might have some beliefs that I think are a little far-fetched, but they're in the deep down, I think that God loves them just as much as me. And I know that God put his fingerprint on him, on them. And that I know in them there's a calling. And I've got to look for that. If I refuse to look for it because of my political leanings or my thoughts, then I'm no better than the Pharisees saying that the Samaritans aren't worth the time or that how dare you eat with the tax collectors. So that being said, don't be a Pharisee. Don't shy away from the political climate, but don't be a Pharisee, right? Let's show love today. Thanks for taking a minute.